I know you said you're not a nerd for title belts, but does your world title run hold a special place in your heart still, even though it was short? World title run? <laughs> uh, the time that you held the world title. Uh, yeah, oh my God, of course. Uh, this ridiculous... Um, it's a ridiculous time. That was some of the best time of my, uh, my career and having fun with things, especially since, um, I, I got the money in the bank contract. I had the briefcase and it had to count as one of my carry ons, by the way, cause I had to take it with me. Every day. And after one weekend of live events of that thing being smashed on my head, it was crunched like tin foil, didn't open or close. I had to shove everything into, uh, my one carry on with like my gear title, anything you need. Everything shoved in there. Um, and the best was, I go, man, I go, I'm used to losing a lot, sadly. But I go, I can always make it special or come around, or I can get one win in every hundred or something and make it, make them still matter. And I told the boss, I go, I'm losing every single night, and this thing's getting busted over my head. I'm looking like an idiot. He goes, everything is going to change when you cash that in and become champion. And I went, case closed. I get it. You have the, I have this get out of jail free card where – we can use me to help everybody else out until the time is right. And uh, having that for so long and almost cashing in, taking things away and doing different things, having uh, the night before I cashed in, 90% of a WrestleMania crowd chanting for me in a match I'm not in is something I will never, ever forget. Uh, and then coming down, I was like, I was so nervous to make sure that that cash in went great. I what I didn't have a chance to think about like how the crowd's going to react or anything. I was just like, I got to get here. I got to get this done. And the music hit and it felt like there was like this split second of nothing. And then this noise hit my body, like, like pins on my body. And I went, I think it was almost a picture of me like, Oh, like, Whoa, this is bigger than I even thought. And, uh, cashing in was, uh, I mean, having fun with that match, it, that three, three and a half minutes is a friggin' a work of art. It is a Picasso painting because you had all these people. The reason I have this briefcase, the reason I have this contract, the reason I'm fighting, trying to get the world title is because even if I was getting beat up or not getting TV time, the crowd and everyone online was still behind me because of the work. So they made this happen and that three and a half minutes where there's like two or three times where it gets taken away. They're like, of course they're going to screw Dolph and not get it. He, of course he always almost wins. What the hell is wrong with you? Why do they hate him so much? And that we played on that so much and so beautifully. And he had a hurt uh, ankle and I got to like pull off his ankle. So the story it was such a beautiful story. It happens. It goes down, become world champion. Great. Uh, that was so freaking awesome to have a bunch of people who, kind of bust balls in the locker room with like genuinely like, Hey, one of the good guys got one. And it was kind of cool. So having that moment and the big gold belt, the Ric Flair world title. Awesome, man. Uh, nothing will ever, I mean, I get main event WrestleMania and it won't be the same as knowing that the company didn't think so highly of me, but 95% of all the fans did. It is wild. 